ain't like that, you know what I'm saying, whatever. And I got them, you, when Sto Day come, got them, you probably got them giving this nigga two suit back because your folks ain't holding you down like they supposed to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't holding you down because, like, you been in that motherfucker seven years, goddamn. Like, motherfucker trying to, like, goddamn, like, how long I'm gonna hold you down? Like, I'm trying to go forward my life. I'm still living out here, dog. Bill coming in, dog. This shit fucked up out here. I can't really see nothing this, this week. But, goddamn, bro, you ain't sitting there about a whole month. Bro, it's hard out here, bro. What the fuck you want me to do, dog? You ain't the only one going through some shit, goddamn, dog. Whoa, bro, whoa. Well, you know I'm locked up. Why the fuck you, you know what I'm saying, woofing like that? No, I ain't woofing, bro. I'm just saying, dog, goddamn. I've been trying to tell you, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Folk got to move on with their life. Move on with their life? Dog, wheels in the street, dog, you know what I'm saying? I will, I will, I will make sure niggas ain't do shit to you, dog. I got 15 in that bitch, dog. I ain't having nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm in that bitch hungry, dog. I had to goddamn get credit from the goddamn store man. Two for three, dog. What the fuck, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta go, bro. I gotta go to work, bro. I'm gonna hit you back. Hello? Hello? But how you gonna hit me back, dog? I'm in jail. You can't call the... Fuck. Podcast is brought to you by my olive leaf. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroids, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're gonna need in the bedroom, big home. Now to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612 567 3263. Get this shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation, and this is Are You Serious? As in Troy Al, are you fucking serious, you fucking snake? I want, I want, first of all, um, all people that donated, I appreciate y'all, all the A.O. Nation. Thank you so much. If you have not donated, please go to the PayPal. It's in the description box. Make sure you fuck with that. I do this for y'all every day. I make sure I have something new for y'all. Um, all my local audience, y'all make sure y'all go, um, to the Facebook Messenger and not the Instagram. Um, all advertisers, that's for you also. Um, Troy Av, I will say that what my son, Trife Gangster, and all of the rest of the people that came forward, they fooled the fuck out of me because I actually thought that you was a lame nigga. Uh, understand when I say lame, you know there's a lame nigga around you. Alright, we have lame niggas, we have live niggas, there's all kind of niggas, whatever like that. There's different grades of lame niggas. Um, I thought he was the lame soft nigga, you know what I'm saying? A rap nigga who came in just rapping and shit like that. Yada, 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 just on some rap shit. So, understand, if you're really doing the rap shit, you can't be gangster. You know what I'm saying? You may you may have been gangster in the past. You've done some shit, whatever like that. But you can no longer be gangster if you're full fledged with this rap shit because it's too much work. You have to choose one. You can't be a father. You can't be a gangster. You know what I'm saying? You have to choose. If you're gonna be if you're gonna be good at any of those things, you have to be full time with it. You can't be anything else. You get, one has to be a priority. The other one has to be a hobby secondary. You know what I'm saying? I. It's crazy because I always tell y'all that a scary nigga will kill you faster than a gangster because a gangster, you know what I'm saying, he knows what his surroundings, a real gangster does. The niggas, it's a nigga named uh, Lil Lito, Young Lito, some fucking incognito name. He was on Star Show, the Star Chamber, I believe, or Star in the Morning or whatever. Um, he, Star is a guy from um, Everyday Struggle, the dude who replaced Joe Budden. And Lil Lito was on there, whatever like that, and uh, Star was treating the nigga like he was in an interview, and that's when I really saw that Lito was a lame nigga, whatever like that. You could tell he wasn't a street nigga, but I, I bet that he's on, like, he probably raps about gangsta and shit, too, lying and shit. But he spoke some really, sh he, he spoke shit that was probably, other people would look at it like it's bullshit, it's just detail, the shit don't matter, but the, what those details he said allowed me to look at this case 
and come up with this conclusion about what's going on here. I'll give you my conclusion. The conclusion is, Techstone may come home. Um, Troy Av may have had the gun, and the way that Banger died may have been from the tussle over the gun. The, there was only three people there. Uh, Techstone, Troy, and Banger. Two are going through litigation and one is dead. I was wondering why Techstone has been so quiet, but that is a cold gangster move because the opposition can't know what the fuck you're going to do if they don't know where your mind is at. This is a skill that has been long forgotten. Not speaking in hostile situations. This is what I always preach to y'all. In interrogation, there's nothing you want to say because you're going to jail at this point. And if you're not going to jail, then you're not going to jail. There's nothing to say here. You're not going to get out of the interrogation room by talking. You're not going to get out of there. I don't give a fuck what they say. Look, you got a chance to save yourself. No, the fuck you don't. It's either over with or it's not. They either gonna let you go because they can't hold you, or they got what they need already. You know what I'm saying? They need you to confirm it. Don't help them do their fucking job. I don't advise anyone to be in the street because you're not gonna win in the street. You're gonna end up getting 15 years on some bullshit. Not on the shit that you're actually doing. You're gonna get 15 years on some bullshit that ain't even got. It's gonna, it's gonna fuck your name up in the streets and everything. So go ahead and get out now and be a broke nigga. And you know what I'm saying? learn how to live out here another kind of way than to be a street nigga in prison, whatever like that, with your name halfway fucked up because some niggas think you told and now you dealing with prison politics and shit like that. Motherfuckers saying that you false claiming because on the, in the street, you know what I'm saying? You aren't really banging like that, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. And now goddamn, you, when store day come, goddamn, you probably goddamn giving this nigga two suit back because your folks ain't holding you down like they pulled to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't holding you down because, like, if you been in that motherfucker seven years, goddamn, like, motherfucker talking, like, goddamn, like, how long I'm gonna hold you down? Like, I'm trying to go forward my life. I'm still living out here, dog. Bill coming in, dog. This shit fucked up out here. I can't really see nothing this, this week. But, goddamn, bro, you ain't sitting in there about a whole month. But, hey, hold on out here, bro. What the fuck you want me to do, dog? You ain't the only one going through some shit, goddamn, dog. Whoa, bro, whoa. Well, you know I'm locked up. Why the fuck you, you know what I'm saying, woofing like that? No, I ain't woofing, bro. I'm just saying, dog, goddamn. I've been trying to tell you, bro, like, you know what I'm saying, folk got to move on with their life. Move on with their life? Dog, we was in the street, dog, you know what I'm saying? I will, I will, I will make sure niggas ain't do shit to you, dog. I got 15 in that bit, dog. I ain't asking them, you know what I'm saying? I'm in that bit hungry, dog. I had to goddamn get credit from the goddamn store man. Two for three, dog. What the fuck, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta go, bro. I gotta go to work, bro. I'm gonna hit you back. Hello? Hello? But how you gonna hit me back, dog? I'm in jail. You can't call the... Fuck. So, there are so many things and so many reasons for you not to... indulge in a system that has been made for you to lose. The trap, the projects, were named these, you know what I'm saying, names for a reason. Like, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. Like, the trap is exactly what it is. It's, ar it's already set up. Like, it's already cocked and ready. Like you're in the trap. Like no, I, I know what you're doing. At any point in time, I can pounce on you. Everybody in the trap is a fucking, you know what I'm saying, suspect. Everybody in the trap is a criminal. At any time, I can do anything to any one of these people inside this trap. This is a system. You're not going to win with it. So let's get down to the point. But in the court system, if you're aware of it and if you're used to it, like Tankstone is, you may know how to feng shui some shit. Now, the question must be asked if Tankstone didn't kill Banger 
and Troy L actually shot him while they were tussling for the gun, then why the fuck Terry Stone ain't come out and just say the shit with him? Why the fuck, you know what I'm saying, did he go on the run? Like, why the fuck, you know what I'm saying, did it have to happen like this? And why hasn't he spoke? We already know why he hasn't spoke. But why, did, why didn't, like, why did he come out and say it? And then you have to understand, because you probably wouldn't understand, that there are so many different, whenever you're in the street, there's always so many different conclusions to every decision that you make. There are five variables, five different conclusions, five different outcomes. If you do this, this can happen, this can happen, this can happen, she can do that, and that might happen. If I do this, this can happen, this can happen, that can happen, that might happen, and then I might go over there. If I do this, so you have to make a decision whatever like that, and every decision comes with a sub-decision. You know what I'm saying? So it's not cut and dry like when you go to work and decide whether you're going to, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and pre-make some shit for the lunch rush or just wait for them to order or whatever so then nothing don't go bad or whatever. It's not that simple. Because this shit has to do with your freedom, your money, your name. You know what I'm saying? How you feel at night, whether you be able to sleep. Yeah, whether you be able to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, all kind of shit have to be factored in. And nine times out of ten, you want some type of substance. So, this system is not only ran by our oppressors, but it's also ran by a um, spiritual overseer. And this spiritual overseer is not the good one. Because everything that happens within this is death, destruction. This is where people lose their children. This is where dreams come to die. You know what I'm saying? You can't, future told you that God is blessing all the trap niggas and he was compensated for that song. Whether the song didn't do good, well, the folk, they were gonna make sure that song did good. And they is who, the, the question that you should ask, who the fuck is they? Who in the fuck would say God blessing all the trap niggas? Who's blessing the trap niggas? Who's blessed? Who, who's blessed in the trap? Who's blessed in the trap is what I just asked. Who's blessed? Your cousin is, is uh, in prison right now. How long he doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking to the future. I'm talking to you. Your, your uncle died in the street in the trap. Ain't your, ain't your mama in the trap smoking crack? Like, ain't she been doing that for, like, since you were born? Did she stop smoking crack when you were in her stomach? What was she at while she was doing that? In a trap, right? What do you mean God is blessing that? That's what a blessing is? Well, what God are you talking about? See, because God is a, a title like um, uh, governor. Uh, but what governor? Sir. You know what I'm saying? What, what name? What name are you talking about? What God are you talking about? The God of... Or the God of... You know what I'm saying? God bless not the trap niggas. That God, huh? Mm. What's a blessing then? I don't want to get too deep. I don't want to get too deep, but... I need for y'all to understand that... With this Troy L situation, what the outcome of it will be is something that we're not seeing. Troy L has been doing a lot of fucking acting out. If you look at it, it you know, looking back at it, look at it like this. Troy L knows that he came there with the gun. Troy Ave knows that that gun was not introduced by Tax Stone. The gun was introduced by Troy Ave. Through wrestling the gun, when he pulled it out on Tech Stone, Banger got shot. Troy Ave knows this. Now, look at what the, the coming to court like this, saying that he got a snitch, whatever like that. Don't you think that that's probably the least of his fucking worries? Is him snitching? 
the the biggest thing on his fucking word release would be text on coming out saying what really happened. But text on is a real gangster. Text on ain't saying a motherfucking thing. Text on sitting back, did a little interview, uh, 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 exonerated Vlad of all, you know, snitching charges and shit like that. He's sitting back. So now, Troy L, being the lame nigga he is, when I say lame, I call him lame because he tried to fuck bang his bitch while he was locked up. That's, I want to get to that too. I don't want to forget that. He knows this, so he's coming to court in a wheelchair, bulletproof vest, and all this shit like this. Knowing what the fuck went on. Let me tell y'all what happened. But just I want just think about that. If if he knows that that's what happened. Put that in your mind. Because what Lito said, and y'all go to Star and watch that shit, whatever like that. Um He asked young Lito what, what happened, whatever like that, and he said that uh, you know, uh Troy Elf tried to fuck um Bangers bitch, and that's something that cannot be forgiven. You, I, I, I've never accepted. That's that's a total violation. That's the only thing that you can really get kicked out from around me about is trying to fuck anybody's bitch. That means you're a snake. You're a different type of snake. You don't you don't care about people. You don't care about no team and shit like that. Like you're a different type of person. If you will fuck your friend's bitch, not his hoe, not this. No, I'm saying you know what the fuck I'm talking about. A nigga bitch. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. You try to fuck a nigga bitch. You don't give a fuck about them, and you don't need to have that person around you because they do not give a fuck about you. If they fuck your bitch, I, I know this shit. I be talking about shit that makes folks feel awkward because they've been through it. If a nigga fucked your bitch, I don't give a fuck how we, uh, we were drunk and uh, it wasn't what it wasn't that dude. Uh, I don't give a fuck what a nigga said. If a nigga fucked your bitch, he is a fucking snake. You need to get the fuck from around him. He will get you killed. Fucking a nigga bitch, you have to have a whole lot of rage, hate. You gotta have a whole lot in the nigga, like, to, to, for you to fuck a nigga bitch, you gotta have a whole lot. So that was one thing I looked at, like, okay, so this is a different type of nigga. Like, he's 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 a snake. Like, he's not no worm, this lame nigga, I don't wanna be a rapper. There's nothing wrong with being a, a lame, wanna be a rapper. But to try to fuck a nigga bitch, you a snake. So now he also says, um, that night at uh, Urban Plaza, Troy Allen was walking, when he was walking in the club, he was walking real aggressive, like, I gotta get up in here. Like, he knew, you know what I'm saying, somebody was up in there that he needed, you know what I'm saying? So, the nigga who will be your friend, and t uh, Banger was, yeah, Banger, I hope I'm saying the right name. Banger, Bangle was uh, in prison. He was in jail when Troy Al tried to fuck his bitch. So that's even worse. So why a nigga is going through it. And he said Troy Al told the nigga, like, uh, Bangle was calling home, like, for like some money or whatever like that. Troy Al wouldn't even give no socks. That's another shit. If your nigga in jail and you won't do nothing for him and you can that shows who the fuck you a fucking snake also. You're like you're a slimy nigga for that. If your nigga is in jail and you don't do nothing for him and you have money, you're another if you've been to jail and your nigga you know your nigga had money, I don't give a fuck what the fuck he said. And you know your nigga had money and he did not do for you as he supposed as he was supposed to, get away from him. Get away from him before he does more damage. If this just if you know that you would do for your friend more than they would do for you, get the fuck away from them. You need to be around people that are just like you. Just like you, as far as it comes when it comes down to what you would do, you know what I'm saying? The love will be reciprocated the same fucking way. Get the fuck away from people. That you have to beg to do what you would do without even asking. So, you try to fuck a nigga bitch while he was locked up. On top of that, you wouldn't even help him while he was locked up. But because you knew that this nigga 
had love for you and you knew that he was going to go for you, you go run down on Techstone, think it's going to be an easy lick, whatever like that. You go run down on him. What's up with the shit you said, homie? Yo, that shit was crazy, B. Hey, what's, hey, yo, what's good, baby? What's good with, that, with them, them fucking words, baby? And you up to five trying to punk him out and this motherfucker really show you he a real street nigga. And through the tussle, bang, bang, he run off, he run out the club, after you shot yourself and banger, you shoot at him. See, y'all need to understand, as I told y'all in the beginning, the difference between a lame, the, it's so many different types of lame niggas. A lot of lame niggas sell dope. It's a lot of lame niggas with money. It's a lot of lame people with money. A lot of lame people that have power. And they mask how lame and soul and pie they are with that. You know what I'm saying? But see, one thing, as I always tell people, you can't go to Walmart and buy swag. You can't go up there and get you, hey, let me get two of them, uh, get two of them, uh, them charismas. And let me get a bucket of, uh, of confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wrap all that up in, uh, uh self-confidence. Or, uh, 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 no insecurities. You can't go buy that. So, if you talk to a motherfucker, you can see. What is it? Is it, like, is this money and drugs that you have? Because you could, from afar, you can look at a motherfucker and be like, oh, that motherfucker got swag, that motherfucker alive. He's not lame because motherfucker with money... And especially motherfuckers who sell dope. A lot of lame motherfuckers sell dope. And like you wouldn't from afar just like, oh, that motherfucker, motherfucker blend in because there'd be some real live niggas around them and shit like they think all oh, the motherfuckers lie. They not all live. They not all live. Niggas be selling dope together and the realest ones be the ones with the least amount of money. The realest ones be the ones with the least... When I say real, I mean live. I mean cool-ass niggas, like real niggas. Money don't make you live. Money... Well, I, I'm not going to say that book, money don't make, make you real because what the fuck is real? What, what does real mean? You niggas wouldn't know what real the fuck is. I, I can't even explain what real is, y'all. Y'all wouldn't live by that. But... Tag Stone coming to court and actually saying that he was approached by Troy Al and through the struggle with the gun, for the gun, Troy shot Banger. Do you know Banger don't even got a tombstone? She only got a tombstone. And see, it's like, I didn't know he was a snake like that. But after hearing those details that that little lame Lido nigga told, it's like, that nigga really could have did that. He could have did that because he don't give a, he didn't give a fuck about Banger. He was, his image, his image is important to him because he's lame. That's how important his image is. I need, I have to compensate. My image can't be tarnished because... If I don't have my image, then I have nothing to hide how lame I am. And a lot of people are like that. I want y'all to think about that. I want to see what y'all think about that. You need to start moving people. I'm, I'm talking to y'all. Y'all need to start moving people in y'all life. Because a lot of y'all are going to end up like Banger. A lot of y'all are going to end up fucked up behind somebody that you know don't got your best interest at heart and you know they don't fuck with you like you fuck with them. And I'm, I'm going to leave it just like that. You know what the fuck going on. Big Face Podcast, y'all. Make sure y'all fuck that PayPal. Ayo Nation. See y'all in a minute.